Hey, welcome back. Well, all the time I was doing repairs on this, I've always noticed that this uh, transmission pan has a big dent in it, and I believe it's leaking a little tranny fluid from time to time. So what I'm going to do is uh, remove this transmission pan, replace it, the gasket, and the filter while I'm at it. But before I get to this, I'm going to uh, clean it up a little bit, maybe some around the engine here. Now this is the first HHR pan. Uh, transmission filter I've done or I'm going to do and the idea is to let the pan tilt down because it holds about this one here uh, almost seven quarts I think it's 6.9 quarts of transmission fluid I'm gonna take screws out around here and then I'm going to loosen the screws around the top slowly which will allow the pan to tilt down in the front and empty into the uh, drain pan that I have here I found that a 5 16 socket works better than the uh, 8 millimeter. Okay, this is what I was looking for. And you save these screws up here for last. And that pan will get a good gap down there and uh, drain even faster. Okay, now the more I loosen these screws up here, the more of a gap I will have on the pan right down here, and the fluid will drain out. One other thing, if you find your pan is not dropping down like this, then you may have left a screw in somewhere that you forgot, or the pan may be stuck, and what you want to do is take a screwdriver and carefully pry it down. Now the oil filter is right here once you remove the pan. I cleaned up around the edge a little bit. Okay, the oil filter sits right up in here and it just is connected right here. It pulls down. There, like that. And so here's the old oil pan. I mean the uh, transmission oil pan. Anyway, the uh, original gasket has little nubs. One here and another one right here and that helps hold the gasket in the proper position when you push it up into the transmission which uh, accept these little nubs here anyway this is the old oil filter transmission filter and there's where he hit something last owner and yeah, you can see where it hit the filter a little bit, but actually didn't do much harm. But you can see that the filter looks pretty grungy in there. So, yeah, I think it's due. And this is the color of the fluid. It's not really reddish anymore at all. Okay, this is the new pan. And it has two magnets positioned here to catch the impurities. I noticed on the other one there was one magnet right in there. I have a different gasket. So what I'm going to do is put this gasket on the pan, but I'm going to use Forma gasket. I'm going to go ahead and get this gasket on this pan and I'll be back. Okay, this is my new filter and you can see the nice new element in there. It came with a new gasket that uh, fits up inside the transmission. Okay, I just push this up in there. Pretty tight fit. Has little nubs where it keeps it up off the bottom of the pan. Now it's time to go get the pan. Okay, this is the critical part right here. Holding your pan up there. And like I said, I did not get the uh, stock gasket for it. So I kind of went old school on the gasket, which is making me have to hold it up with one hand and screw it in there with another. You want to get all your screws started first. I've always liked to get all my screws started first, of course. That way I make sure the gasket is in lined up. Sometimes if my screw doesn't start, the gasket is in the way. And you can use a an awl or a a punch to uh, center it. Okay, now I'm going to uh, just put these bolts up with a little T 
tension just where I feel them hit the pan and start to tighten. All right, these pan bolts are tightened down to uh, 89 inch pounds or 10 Newton meters. So I got my inch pound torque wrench. We're gonna go an alternating pattern. A little at a time. And we're gonna try and pull this pan down slowly because you don't want to bend it. Okay, I'm starting to get one or two of these coming down to torque. Let's see what it's like. I'm going to go and check them around and just check them all. Going around and checking them all. This transmission does not have a dipstick and it has to be filled from the top vent hole. Anyway, I've got these all to, uh, to torque. In order to put transmission fluid in the HHR, you have to locate the vent cap. And I'll do my best to show you where it is. It is located just below my finger. There's a cap. And it unscrews. And here's what the cap looks like. Like I said, it just unscrews. So I'll be using this Dexron 6 ATF transmission fluid. It calls for 6.9 quarts. So that would be leaving a tenth of a quart in the bottle. A tenth of a quart would be 3.2 ounces and this is just a little bit below the mark of 4 ounces on the bottom of the bottle. So I'll stop there. And then I'll put 6 full quarts in after this one. I think this should make a big difference. Anyway, she's all back together. I didn't film all that. I almost forgot to say that uh, I have to start it up, run it through the gears a little bit, and uh, tomorrow morning I'll look underneath it and check for leaks because the uh, transmission fluid drains down once you shut the uh, engine off. So there'll be more fluid in the pan when it's not running, and that will be the time that uh, if it was going to leak, it would. So again, Steve AZ 711 saying thank you all for watching and subscribing and uh, bye for now.